Hello, this is Vicar Dave with your encouraging word of the day. Who will go up first for us against the Canaanites to fight against them? Judges 1-1. I've felt this way before. Perhaps you have too. Wondering who will be our advocate in our time of need. It's ironic that we are surrounded by people and we have constant access to communication, and yet we can still feel alone. In a world of ambient noise, we're often left feeling that no one is there to come to our aid. Most of us do have people to help us. It's just that we're not willing to ask for help. Paul tells us that it is Christ who began a good work in you, and he will finish it until the day he returns. Philippians 1.6 In essence, the story of Paul and the Philippian believers' struggle is really the same story told in the book of Judges. God's people are at war against powers seen and unseen, Philippians 3, 1-4. They feel lonely and wounded, but when they search their hearts, they see that God really is rising up to defend them. In Philippians, we see Paul telling his story to a church in need of a leader, so they can look to his example. We also see Paul, time and time again, point to the greatest example, Christ. When God's people find themselves in dire circumstances, being opposed by outside forces, we need to remember Christ is our advocate before God the Father, and He is our guide in this life, which can often be confusing and disheartening. God's faithfulness in guiding and loving His people remains the same today as yesterday, but now we see an even greater manifestation of that love in Jesus. Let's pray. God, our Father, you always know what we are going through and what we need. Help me to hand it over to you and trust in your providence. Amen. May God's love and mercy lift your hearts and give you peace.